In this video, I will discuss the biased number representation number representation and that is used for for signed numbers particularly exponents in the floating point standard which is the IEEE 14 floating point standard which is called the IEEE 754 standard um, and what I'd like to do is to kind of give you an intuition behind it. So as you recall, um, when we think of uh, uh, a floating point number, a floating point number, we represent a floating point number um, in, in, in the standard form, uh, in, the, in, the, in the scientific form, we express it as a, as a, a number which is one point, uh, some number of bits, so let's call this the fraction bits. Actually, it's plus or minus, depending upon whether we have a positive or negative sign, uh, times 2 to the power of some exponent. So this is typically how we would represent it. This would be the scientific normalized form of representing a number. So we are talking about how this particular value, which is an exponent here, can be either a positive or a negative number. In other words, it can be a signed number. So if it's a signed number, it seems like the intuitive thing to do is to represent it using, using a signed number format. So the alternatives, if you will, are as we saw as the the alternative is, is, uh, are to use either two's complement or even uh, some of the flawed ones like sine magnitude and and, and uh, one's complement. But the choices really are um, the practical choices are either sine two's complement or a new format that we're going to introduce here called the biased or a biased exponent format. Um, and the idea of, of the biased exponent format, uh, the reason why IEEE chose this format is because it is uh, easier, easier to do comparisons in hardware, in specifically in hardware. The hardware for doing comparisons is easier uh, if you use the biased exponent format, uh, while the two's complement is, 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 is better for doing arithmetic. This is not so much, uh, two's complement is better for arithmetic, but for comparisons, uh, the hardware for doing uh, comparisons is easier if you use a biased arithmetic, a uh, biased uh, exponent. So that's the rationale behind it. So, so let's see how this, how this format works. Now, typically uh, when we take our floating point number and we visualize it, uh, when we actually represent it as an n-bit number, let's say, if we represent it as an n-bit number, um, we use up one bit for the sign. The sign uh, is one bit. Um, we use up some number of bits for the exponent. Let's call that E. So that's where your exponent goes. And the rest of it is your fraction. So, so we have e bits uh, for exponent. In other words, one plus e plus f is equal to n. And turns out that in the IEEE standard, uh, n was either uh, 32 bits or n was 64 bits, or uh, more recently, n can also be 128 bits. This is called single precision. Uh, double precision or quad precision and in each of these the E value that the IEEE has chosen the E value for the single precision is 8 the E value for double precision is 11 and the N uh, E value for quad is 15 so what what IEEE standard says when we use the egg biased exponent is for any arbitrary E for a given E uh, as we know, for, for a given e, we know that the possible values of, of, uh, of uh, the range, if you will, for e bits, for a given e bits, we know that the range of values we can represent are 0, 1, 
2 all the way up to 2 to the power of e minus 1. That's simply a simple observation that if we have, for example, if uh, let's take a very simple example, if e were, let's say, uh, 3, and I'm going to make this up, so we can go from 0, 1, 2, or 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That's just their eight values, and those are the values, right? So that's a simple example of that. So what, what IEEE um, uh, standard for bias uh, representation says is, we're gonna reserve these extreme values for some, some special cases. So the, the, e, the extreme values, which are zero and e, uh, two, two to the e minus one, in this case, they are zero and seven. We will reserve, these are for reserve for special cases. And we will get to that in a different video, reserve for special cases cases and the rest of them which are from 1 from 1 to all the way up to 1 2 3 all the way up to 2 to the e minus 2 because the one before this is 2 to the e minus 2 we will use these to represent what we call as normalized values normalized numbers in in the in this representation so in a nutshell normalized numbers simply mean that we have let's make a quick note of this the normalized numbers simply mean that the 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 digit before the dot here is a one so that's what normalized is so all numbers which are normalized numbers have only you can use the exponents can only be in the range for normalized numbers exponents this this value of exponent whatever we put here this value here in binary let's write that out in binary this can be zeros zeros zero zero one in e bits right all the way up to two to the e minus one which will be remember that if i have a if, if, if it is 2 to the e minus 1, the 2 to the e minus 1 itself is all 1s. So the one, the last number in that range is 1, 1, 1, all the way up to a 0. So that would be, uh, that would be your last number, which is, at, this is uh, 1 and this is 2 to the e minus 2. Right? So, because 2 to the e minus 1 would have been all 1s and 2 to the power of e minus 2 would be that number. So that's the idea. Uh, let's take the simple example of, uh, of uh, e equals 3. Uh, this would have been uh, in the case of, case of e equals 3. This is 0, 0, 1 all the way up to 1, 1, 0. In other words, the numeric values for, the e, for this case are from 1 to 6. So what do they represent? So this is where it's interesting because the, the numeric value, the binary numeric value is from one to six, but we need these to represent sign numbers. So, so the way we make them represent sign numbers is we shift the numbers to represent so that one, two, three, four, five, and six, which are these guys, they actually represent, one doesn't represent one, but it represents a one minus three, which is minus two. 2 actually represents, so in other words, 0, 0, 1, the act in, in the biased exponent, it actually represents as minus 2. So if there's 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, then it represents 2 minus 3, which is minus 1, 3 represents 0, 4 represents 1, 5 represents 2, and 6 represents 3. In other words, in the bias representation, the actual power you represent is the numeric value you have here subtracted by a bias. In this case, the bias, as it turns out, the bias here is equal to 2, sorry, 3 for E equals 3. So IEEE has a standard that it says the bias for a generic general E is 2 to the E minus 1 minus 1. 
So that's where we got this number from. That is in this particular example, that is two to the power of three minus one minus one, which is three. Now, in the case of, let's fill this thing. In the case of our single precision and double precision and quad precision, um, in the case of n equal, e equals eight, um, the, the precision, uh, the bias is actually two to the power of eight minus one minus one, which is two to the power of seven minus one, which is 127 which is 128 minus one. Um, similarly, this is two to the power of 11 minus one minus one, which means it's two to the 10 minus one, which is 1023. And this is two to the power of 15 minus one minus one, which is two to the power of 14 minus one, uh, which is, uh, actually do not worry about that. You can do the math yourself. So that is the idea behind the precision. So. So in other words, so let's sum this up. So what we are doing is we are, because we want to have positive and negative numbers, we are writing our, writing our um, uh, exponent uh, in binary, but we are saying that it actually denotes something else. Just like, just like in two's complement, you may recall, so let's summarize this. It, for example, if I had 0, 0, 1, 0, one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero if if this were if this was only pure decimal if they were unsigned decimal right if they're unsigned this would be one two three four five and six but if this was two's complement then we know that this is one two three but this is a minus four minus three and minus two that's two's complement. But now we're saying that in the bias representation, in the bias representation with a bias of three, this is uh, this is not a one, it's one minus three, which is minus two, minus one, zero, one, sorry, uh, two, and three. So, so that's the that's the rational. So we're able to represent positive and negative numbers. Now notice that we're because of the way things have things turn out, we don't really have the same ranges for the values we can represent in the case of uh, uh, in in the case of uh, of biased versus two's complement. Um, that's because in two's complement, uh, if I did throw in a zero zero zero, this would be my zero, and this would be a one 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 which is minus one um, in bias representation a quick rep note to remember is these two values are reserved for other purposes so we don't use them because be in bias representation only applies to normalized values and normalized values have exponents in this range so these are not valid in bias representation I hope this explains how bias representation works. Uh, we will do. We will see how we apply it for an actual example in the next in a later video.